The first time I ever came to Yosemite, I was 19 years old and I was on spring break freshman year in college. We drove through the Wawona Tunnel and then I was like completely floored when I saw El Cap. I was like, oh my God, that is the biggest rock I've ever seen in my whole life. I couldn't even comprehend how big it was because it was literally eight times bigger than anything I'd ever climbed before, I'd ever even seen. You look up these huge, enormous, impossible walls and they look completely blank. You can start breaking things down. You start seeing these huge, beautiful lines. And throughout the past five years that I've spent climbing here and learning that entire process, I've started to see the lines in between the previously climbed lines. Part of the progression for me is finding lines that haven't been climbed yet. I've kind of been craving this absolute mystery of being up on the walls and not knowing if we're gonna be able to get to the top. Earlier this season, I saw this beautiful line on Half Dome that had never been climbed before. And around the same time, I watched my friend Ethan Pringle up on Freerider, and it was super inspiring to see such a high caliber rock climber up there just crushing the route. And so it seemed only natural to ask him to come and try to do this route with me. So we got this awesome line picked out on Half Dome, and then this fire started and it shut down the whole mountain. And then there was this route on the far right side of El Cap that looked awesome. And then that route had actually already been climbed, but there was almost no information about it. And then plan C was to climb this other unclimbed line. It turned out to be in this extremely dangerous rock fall zone. And then there was one final objective that could possibly work. There's this stunning line that goes up the big north face of Higher Cathedral. The north face of Higher Cathedral Rock is this huge wall kind of tucked behind the big middle cathedral face that you can't really see. The only reason it hasn't been climbed is because the approach is pretty involved. There's some climbing to get there. It's pretty loose up this gully because of the difficult access no one's ever explored a bunch of those crack systems up there. So Ethan and I are hiking up to the base of Higher Cathedral. Our bags are a little heavier than we hoped they'd be, but the route looks really awesome. And uh, yeah, we're pretty stoked to get up there. I didn't realize why this hasn't been climbed before. We've been hiking for like almost two hours now. We're starting to rope up because we have to like climb a few pitches just to get to the base. Yeah, we're pretty stoked, but yeah, definitely kind of makes sense why no one's been up here. This doesn't get people to repeat this route. I don't know what will.
just woke up. Um, we both didn't sleep super well last night, but the ledge was pretty nice to sleep on. Pretty stoked. My face is completely covered in dirt from all the the gardening last night. There were lots of vegetables in the crack. We didn't get quite as far as we hoped that we would last night, but uh, I think we're gonna bust it out today. Nice. Thanks for doing that with me. Yeah. Anytime. That was awesome. People are gonna get psyched on this. <laughs> people are gonna, this is gonna make people not want to go climbing after watching this footage. <laughs> so for Ethan and I, the main goal was to go out and find the purest form of adventure. And even though all the other plans of routes that we wanted to climb here ended up falling through. We ended up climbing something that was totally rad and we found exactly what we were looking for. <laughs> <laughs>